Hey guys, Greg here from LensProtogo.com. In part two of our Super Telephoto Lens Series, I'm gonna tell you how to get sharper images by being a total buzzkill. And by that, I mean we're gonna be eliminating vibration. Stick around and I'll tell you how the pros do it. The cardinal rule of photography is that if your camera and lens aren't steady, you've got no hope of capturing sharp images. The number one rule is having a sturdy tripod and head set up. You need your support to keep your camera as still as possible. Here at Lens Pro to Go, the staff favorite is the Enduro CT414 and the GHB2 gimbal head. If you need a bit more mobility, we really like the Enduro CM34 monopod and a BHD2 ball head. Now I'm sure you're saying, duh Greg, everyone knows you should use a tripod, that's nothing new. Sure, and you'd be right in saying that. The thing is, it's how you use that tripod that really makes a difference in how sharp your images are. How do you go that extra mile? The key is to avoid adding vibration in the first place. Take a look at these two people pressing the shutter. See anything different? You want to be sure that you're gently rolling onto the shutter button, opposed to poking it with your finger. Just like on Facebook, you shouldn't do it. Check out the effect both shutter techniques have on the stability with this video with the image stabilization turned off. In fact, if your subject allows it, you can go one step further by using a remote shutter release cable and using mirror lockup or live view to further eliminate vibration from mirror slap. Now, if you're tempted to go totally hands off with your setup, you'd be wrong. The third and most important thing to kill vibration actually has to do with you. You've got to use your body as a vibration damper. Thankfully, all you need is one of these. Just lightly rest your hand on top of the lens above the tripod foot. To double up on this effect, add a second point of contact with your forehead pressed into your camera viewfinder. For monopod shooters, use the same technique but add a very slight forward pressure on your monopod with your leg. Your hand and your head will help soak up the vibration created when you take a picture. If you use all of these tips and schedule yourself some time to practice before your next big shoot, you'll be much more likely to come home with images you can be proud of. After all, there's nothing worse than missing the perfect shot because you messed it up with the wrong equipment or sloppy technique. If you have any questions about lens choice or you're ready to rent a super telephoto lens, feel free to shoot us an email or drop us a line. And as always, happy shooting and don't forget to subscribe.